honestly, it's crazy. It's very similar to last year. I think you've seen uh, who you saw last year. He was a huge part of us getting the ball rolling a little bit the second half last year when we played well. Obviously, Nate is a huge part of that. When he's going, he's a big part of our offense. I don't know. I'm just trying to be simple. That's all. Like, you can't make up for subpar performance in the first half, like, with one swing. So we got to take it one pitch at a time. The second half, he's been really good against righties, lefties. Really competing well up there. You know, he's putting the ball in play. Uh, he battles up there and got some huge hits. So looks like Nate's seen the ball well. Seeing the ball well is an understatement. In July, Lowe posted a 333 batting average with four homers, 14 RBI, and an OPS over 1,000. That line earned him the Rangers Player of the Month. When the OPS is up like that and the average isn't crazy high, it tells me I did a good job. I did a better job with the strike zone in July, and that's something that ideally that I'd like to carry in August, September in the postseason. He very easily could have been in the All-Star game. He's going to be there throughout his career. He's going to be an All-Star, zero doubt about it. But I think the thing for him is like, just keep going, just keep going. And he knows, he's confident in himself. He's, his confidence continues to grow. But to sit in the middle of our offense and do what he's done, is going to be huge for us, uh, you know, the rest of the second half. Lowe's bat is becoming absolutely lethal. You pair his offense with his glove work at first base, and he's becoming one of the best all-around players in the American League. Defense was a key focus for Lowe this past offseason. He trained with two-time Gold Glove Award winner Francisco Lindor, and it paid off. Line to first, what a play by Nathaniel Lowe. Lowe has been locked in at first base, and it helps when his second baseman is an all-star veteran. Defensively, it's been awesome. I think Marcus has been a great, you know, just impact on him. Not that anything was going on, but just the work every day. And then all of a sudden now, Nate is getting more comfortable being number one, uh, being at first base. Obviously, when you first get to the big leagues, you're trying to survive, right? And I think, like, he had to work through that, and now all of a sudden, he's trying to hone his abilities and uh, he gets out here he works every day and I think I think what we're seeing is just a product of him getting more comfortable and working on his craft every day from a defensive standpoint it's been really fun to watch and just his maturity and growth over the last year and a half two years has been unbelievable now in his fifth season in the big leagues Lowe has become invaluable to the clubhouse chemistry of this ball club a team that is seeking its first postseason berth since 2016. It's uh, exciting that the team's like in win now mode for sure and coming down the stretch of a pennant race, like guys are happy, like it's a good time. Yeah, good time to be in the clubhouse, like we got a good thing going. This group has done a tremendous job of building that chemistry, that culture from day one in spring training and it speaks to the individuals in the in that locker room, it speaks to the leadership of Bruce Bochy and the coaching staff and um, it's been really fun to see it to come together. It's an exciting thing, like being in a pennant race and being a first place team. So it's a, it's a new thing for a lot of guys in this clubhouse, but there are a lot of guys that have won other places too. Ideally, we'll grow together and continue to play better and make a strong push down the stretch. Low bounces it left side and through base hit. The throw on the way, it's offline, and the Rangers win it. Nathaniel Lowe with a game winner.